Well, good morning, everybody. Okay, so today, Do you think we can start uh, or, or not? OK, so today what we're going to do is doing some, let's say, exercise and example on tasks. So following the, the lectures we did um, in this and, and past week, OK? So uh, well, let me start with some administrivia that happens to be in the, in the exercise session, as always. So assignment two will be out soon, meaning before Friday for sure, hopefully today or tomorrow. Um, Friday's lab, so this Friday, the lab is about working on that assignment, so no feedback. So each group in their own slot. The feedback session on assignment two instead will be next week. Mm -hmm. So replicating what happened for assignment number one. Uh, differently from the past Friday, we will start with the groups that have overlaps with other courses. Mm -hmm. So those who need to leave to attend another class will be processed before as a feedback. We know which are, because when you fill out the, the group composition form, you tell us if you can only attend that slot or another one. So we, we know who, who, can, who need to leave from that information. So we will start from, from those groups and then we will do the others. Uh, in any case, we have seen that three hour, four hours and a half are enough for all the groups. And at worst, you will, at worst, someone will lose half an hour, 15 minutes of another class. Or you can skip the feedback as you prefer. So, before doing the exercise, the usual game. So this is, um, this is Microsoft Bing, and this is what you show, what, what is show when you look for weather. You type weather in the search form, and you see that one, that user interface. Where are we going to put it? In the Hall of Fame or in the Hall of Shame? I should have started like with this question, so immediate silence. Are we going to put it in all of shame or all of fame? And why? Yes. We we need to choose. More all of fame will be I mean it's not it should be either perfect or a disaster. It, it should be more on the Hall of Fame or more close on the shame. More on the fame. Do you agree? Yes. Why? It's simple to understand. It's clear. It's pretty intuitive. It's 
is in the right place. I mean, it's, it's the weather of the right place. I didn't type weather in a city, I just type weather this morning, and this is, was the, the picture that this morning in Turin, because I was here, hmm, so it, other weather forecasting can have to you to type which, where are you, hmm, to get the weather. Um, why you were saying in the middle, which are the negative aspects? Yeah, it's a little bit boring, we can say. Yes, it could have been more, a little bit less boring, but definitely is in the Hall of Fame. That is not the first one ever in the Hall of Fame, but still in the category of the Hall of Fame. Simple, clear, the information are there. If you want to know the, the temperature, it's there. Easy to see, 13 degrees. Uh, all the options are there. The main things, the main things are there. The, the, the things you need are there. Hmm? Nothing more, probably nothing less than what you need. Then you can probably have more options and oh, show the ground, whatever it is, and see the detail forecast. And so clicking here, open a new page. So you can go deep if you want, but it's all fame. Good. So. The goal of today's exercise are two. The first one is to try to reflect on what is a good task and what is a not so good task, and then do an experiment, do an exercise with task analysis, particularly with the hierarchical task analysis. So just as a reminder, plus an additional bit of information, what is a task? We spent three hours speaking about tasks in various format, but in another definition, operative, the task is a structured set of activities, high-level action, what we call steps, required to achieve a user goal. That in the hierarchical task analysis is part of the plan. And a task overall, the high-level task, the one that will be dec decomposed in steps, is it say what a person want to do. It describes a complete goal, not half a goal, not three goals, and doesn't say the task per se, how to do something. Maybe the steps can describe how to do something, but the task per se, didn't. So if you remember, make tea, clean the house, it doesn't describe how to do that. It were tasks that descri descri described this detail, those things. And typically in a domain you can have multiple tasks. We can say that we can split those tasks in three categories, simple, moderate, and complex because those tasks can have clearly different complexities. Mm -hmm. uh, typically you have some tasks that are simple, meaning that they are common, widely, a wide part of the population that use the app, or the system, the website, the tool, etc. experiment this task. They are so common, they're simple, they're introductory. Mm -hmm. Then you have a moderate task in the middle, and then you have also complex task something that is not frequent, something that is for the extreme user, something that is for the power user. Hmm? So a good part of a task will be simple task, common task, in introductory task, other tasks will be slightly more difficult, slightly less popular, um, etc. while others will be complex. Hmm? Again, un unfrequent, infrequent or for just extreme user, power users, people that use the system maybe or the application in a professional way that know all the tricks of the system. So this is a sort of category of task you can, you can imagine. Um, and moderate is something in the middle between the simple task and the complex task without a strict definition that we can give. But we have these different complexities. And if we want to make an example of this task, we can use these three. So 
let's imagine a service, an application that is Uber. Hmm? So for picking a ride. Not in Italy, outside, but. Hmm? So a simple task, here we have three kind of tasks. Hmm? A single task could be signaling a ride for a ride. A moderate task could be reach out to the driver to get back an uh, object that I forgot in the car. And a complex task could be become a driver for Uber. Hmm? So three questions, or be better, the same question for all of three. Simple task, is this a task? Does it fall in the definition of task that we gave? Yeah, do you agree with him? Okay, why is it simple? Why is it not moderate or complex? It's, it's the main thing that you do with Uber. It's call for a ride. So it's 99% per, of the usage will be on that. So it's the common introductory task. You get the application, you get Uber for getting a ride somewhere. That's the ABC. Okay, moderate task. Is it a task? Yes or no? Less sure. Who say that it is a task? One, two, three. Who say that it is not a task? And everybody else? Not sure. not sure, but you have to pick a position. Yeah, yeah, but we focus on is what a person want to do describing a complete goal. Look at this definition. It's something that one person with Uber wanted to do, and it has a goal or not? Why not? And that is the one, say, the simple task, hmm? right? But this is a moderate task. Hmm? We say that task can be more complex and the complex task will be for the power user, the extreme user, etc. The simple task are the common task, like reaching a destination, signaling for a ride. These are simple tasks. That's the, what the vast majority of people do, right? And it's, it is a task, clearly. This is moderate, something in the middle. So why this is not a task to you? Yeah, also signaling for a ride is an action. But It's not really how to, I mean, it doesn't say how to get back the object, how to reach out to the driver. It doesn't say how. It's by phone call, it's by an application, it's by the assistance. It doesn't say how to. It's writing a letter. Which is the goal here? There is a goal here. getting back an object. It's the goal here, no? Getting back the object I forgot, it's my goal. It's not the main goal of the application for which is signaling for a ride the main goal, reaching a destination. That is the main goal of the application, but still this is a goal of the application. Smaller, moderate task, so not very, very common goal, but if you forgot something on a car, you would probably like to get back so it's something that an application or service should provide to you. It will not, will not happen 
all the time, but sometimes it will happen. That's why it's a moderate task, it's not a simple task. So this is, yes, this is a goal. Hmm? This is a goal, a moderate task. No, sorry, it is a task. It's a moderate task, not a simple one, like the one that you were saying, not even a complex one. It's something that happens, not very, very often, hopefully, but happens, and Uber, as a service, as an application, etc., should be able to fulfill this need in a way. If I forgot, if I forget something on a car, I would like to get it back. So I need to have a procedure somewhere that tell me how and that allow me to do that. Not that oh, I don't, you you you're not expected to forget things on the cars, so we don't have a way to to get it back for you. That's not an option. I mean, it is, but it's also an option to, to move people to another service. Hmm? So it's something that happens. People forget things, and it is actually a task. Third one, complex task. Is it a task? So this is why it's moderate, because it's not something that happens every time, but still is a need, is something that may happen when you pick a car that's not yours. So you have things, and you can forget things. Complex task, become a driver, is it a task? No, why not? He's saying no, it's not a task, it's more a goal because you have to pick the license, etc. Anything else? Anybody else? Yes. It is a task. Hmm? So what you're saying about the license, etc., is in the first part. Become a driver. For which you need a license, etc. So here, if the service, the application is Uber, and we are putting ourselves in that context, we are speaking about Uber as a service, as an application, we are not speaking about driving in general, or taxis, we are just speaking about Uber. These are tasks, all three of these are tasks that are valid for Uber. The task, clearly the goal is be a driver for Uber, and the task is becoming a driver, which is the process to become a driver for Uber. There will be a process, otherwise you will only have passengers and will not have drivers. So there will, there will be a way to become a driver. Is it why is it complex? Yeah, it's not complex, yes, clearly you have, maybe you have, you already have the license for your own car, and not related to Uber. You can have a license for driving a car independently of Uber, Lyft, or whatever service of car sharing you, you have, no? Um, let's say out of Italy, at least. That is one way to see that, for sure, because becoming a driver, clearly, you can imagine more subtask, more steps to reach that uh, more options, oh, I have a license, no I don't. So if you have a license, if you don't have a license, first get a license. If you have these steps, and then you probably need to speak, you, you probably need to have a car, you probably need to have something. Surely that is one perspective, and the other perspective, because of the way it's complex, Yes, because it's, it, yes, for, for all this, because it's rare, not everybody that takes a, a dri uh, Uber wants to be a driver. Also because it's, it's probably more complex, in, if you unpack the, the task is more complex than the others, uh, all the others, but also for this reason, because it's not something common. Only a small percentage of people will like to get to be involved in this process that bring them to be a driver. So while the first task, that is a simple one, is actually that 100% of the Uber users will do often, 
getting a ride is the goal of the application itself. Mm? So it's simple and are probably few steps because of the, one, the thing that everybody should do. So you cannot have 100 steps and options and alternative. There should be a simple way to, to do the simple task. The moderate task is slightly more difficult. It has a little bit more steps. Uh, probably uh, it will have uh, less people for hopefully needed that to, to do this task. But still is a task that if you, if you develop something like Uber, you want to have. Because you don't want that a person arrive to you with this request and you say, I didn't thought about this. I, we don't have a process for that. We don't have anything in the application or in the service that allow you to get back your object. And your object, not the one that other people forgot. So this is slightly more complex as steps and less frequent. And the last one is the most complex and the, the, most fre the least frequent for the general Uber population, but still is essential for Uber because without drivers, they cannot have the service. So it's not something that they cannot think about it. Okay? So these are three types, the three tasks. You can come up with multiple simple tasks. You can come up with multiple moderate tasks and multiple complex tasks. Hmm? And probably something could be complex, moderate, according to the specific applications setting or the context you are analyzing. But still, you have something that is for sure very, very simple, something that tends to be more and more complex. Hmm? And if you're designing something, your goal would be to create, to imagine tasks along, or to observe tasks along this entire spectrum. Not just a simple one, the immediate one, but also some edge cases, some something that enable your service application to work better in the end for reaching people's needs and for reaching people's goals. Mm. So these three are example, but again, we can have multiple simple moderate tasks for, for Uber. Okay, got it? Okay, bad task. Mm. I just write two, we can try to imagine a third one. So always at some service, you are the Uber owner, hmm? uh, and you lost a bet, and you're here for that reason. And so, bad task. Open the app and tap on travel. Why this is a bad task? Because it is a bad task. It's a bad task because it tells you how to do the thing. Open the app, tap here. Not only, which is the goal here? Who knows? Yeah, but it's a complete goal. And then is after travel, you can probably uh, book a ride, I imagine. Uh, but the, the, I imagine is not written there. So yes, it's, it's how to and it's missing a goal. Good. So different from before, hmm? the other tasks were more user centric. The person want to signal for a ride. The person want to reach out to the driver. It doesn't say how to do that. It just say that they need to. And here instead is the user that opens the app and tap and travel. It's more specific, say how. It doesn't explain a goal. It doesn't satisfy any need of the person. Just say, use this application in this way. Listen to me, click here and click there. And obey, but doesn't say anything about the task, the goal, the person that is doing this activity. The other one, go into your account setting, check the messaging and then send a present, you can send a present to the, to the application. Um, why this is bad? Well, for the f same reasons before, um, one is you 
you tell the people what to do. Hmm? You skip the open the app, but all the other things are there. So going to a card setting is, is less step by step than before. Hmm? So it's not, it doesn't say very well how to do things, sort of, because check the messages and send a present are both option in the settings. So if you open the setting, you'll see four things. Two of them are the messages and send a present, written in this way, at least in Italian, then I translated. So use the same wording of the actual application. This is an aspect of bad. Other things? They are totally two separate actions. So go into account setting and do something there. Hmm? So there is not a clear goal. Do you want to check the messages or do you want to send a present? Those could be tasks, but could be two separate tasks. One is sending a present and one is checking the messages. Hmm? So a, a good task could be maybe check the messages for some information or send a present to a friend of yours. That could be a task. Hmm? More, more likely a task than of this, a better task. So think about, again, the service. Another bad task that came to your mind? And, and clearly, open the app and tap on travel could be classified in the simple things, and this could be probably more on the complex, moderate things, because it's not the usual way to use the application, sending a present. The, the usual way to, send, to use the application is to getting a ride. Another bad task? You will come out with bad task for your project, so it's better to come out now with bad task, so that we can try to, you can try to come up with a good task. Yeah, something specifically like login and then click here, click there, and this could be another simple task. So if you want to define a task that say what you want to do, just forget about it and try to do something different. Another example? Any other random example? Yes. Like, sorry? Paying a driver. Yes, if the task is just pay the driver, probably yes, it's too specific. It's still a simple task, a simple category, because it's something that you all want to do, but it's missing a goal. You pay the driver for what? Just for, for because it's a present, and you still send some money to the driver for whatever reason, or for completing a a ride or etc. So that is another kind of bad task. Now it's your turn. So in the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, try to, also in groups, it's fine, try to define at least one simple task, one moderate task, and one complex task for as, as if you were the creator or global of Just Eat or whatever similar to those. Mm -hmm. So food delivery service like this too.
OK. So let's hear a little bit some good task. So keep in mind hmm, uh, that we are not doing this for the joy of doing uh, tasks, but for keep in mind wh why tasks could be useful for you hmm, or in general. So a task could be useful for extract requirements for your application. So if you have identified that these three are the best tasks that you want to have, that your application, your system want to cover, that is something that your application must do. These three things must be there. If these are the key tasks, the key things that your application must do. These are other things. So it's a way to generate requirements, generate features, to validate the processes, how many steps in my application, in my system, I have to do to signal a ride. How is easy to book a ride? How is easy to become a driver using my system? So starting from the task, you can generate feature, you can generate design, specific design for your application, and you can also use task for evaluating with users your application. So the task could be try to use my application to signaling for a driver. And you can see if the person that is evaluating, testing your application is able to complete this task and how long it takes and how many errors it does. So starting from this same task that help you in defining a requirement, defining a feature, understand how you do, want to do things specifically to accomplish these tasks and also to evaluate things for other users, other people that is using your system application following the same tasks. Hmm? So if we imagine that these are the, the three key main tasks that Uber as version zero must have, that is something that should work in the best possible way hmm? for them. Then they will add other tasks, they will have version 11 with much more things. Hmm? But things, think when, when we talk about task, let's imagine this not just for sake of creating task, but with these goals in mind that we are going to use, you are going to use task for a lot of things. So if you define well, very well done task, you will learn a lot. If you are designing bad task, like open the app and tap on travel, and you're going to evaluate your application, telling a person, open the app and tap on travel, what are you learning? That the person is able to follow instructions but not, you, don't learn, not, you don't learn anything about your application. How is easy to book a ride? You don't know because you tell exactly what to do, what to press. How the wording is correct, if the wording is correct or not. You, you don't know because you tell them to tap on travel and it's exactly written travel. Hmm? So a good task enable you to learn a lot from many steps in the process. And that's why we, we spend three hours plus this lecture on basically tasks, hmm? mostly. So back at the, at the example, good task, some simple task about global just eat or similar. Food ordering is, is a, a good concept, but it's not um, a proper task. Yes, that's the goal. I, I want to order food. That's fine. But the task could be mm, so similar to these: mm, signaling for a ride, reach out to the driver, become a uh, liquid B. Put an order to the restaurant. Make an order for for a restaurant for. Uh, for me, not, all, not only a restaurant, for, for a place. Um, other simple task or other variation of this simple task. This is the main task, clearly. Looking for? Which is, the, which is the goal? Which is the user goal? You look for a restaurant to do what? Just for knowledge of restaurant or to? 
So you, you, you need you know, the next step. So looking for, as, if it's a map application, just a general map application, that could be a, a simple task for a map application, looking for a specific place nearby or 10 kilometer from my position. Because that's a map, that's a general purpose, so Google Maps. But here we are creating an application for delivering food, uh, essentially, uh, or going to pick foods. So that is a part of a task, probably, but the task is, is missing the goal, the final goal, the complete goal was written before. You look for restaurant for picking up food, for ordering to the side to order or not, because it's uh, because if it's too, too away from you, it can arrive at home cold, or which is the goal? Other simple task? And the goal is? So your goal is not check reviews, because check reviews is, let's say, the action that you want to do, to do. Hmm? which is the goal. The goal is no, to rate is an action, to check is to read, pick one, <laughs> to find if the restaurant is good. Hmm? So something more, uh, find a four-star restaurant or highly rated restaurant could be more of a goal hmm? to, to order food or order food in a four highly rated restaurant hmm? could be more similar to a goal. Just, just a little bit more moderate these are because you're already adding conditions, constraint, not just order food but also in a high quality, near, etc., etc. Uh, there was somewhere there, yes. Say again. Open, close on order. Uh, review your last orders, something like this. No. Ah. Okay. It's something more moderate or complex, however, something like this. So use a voucher, a coupon, a, disca a discount, uh, something for, for ordering food. No. Too, too small. It's, it's one step of the process, confirming the order, no? I think. Could be a subtask, clearly. Both could be subtask. Yes, it's interesting the the, the other side but Yes, you, you the receive process and etc. That could be um, simple to moderate or also complex, it depends where you put uh, the restaurants. If you put the restaurant like drivers, then it's clearly a, a, more, a more complex, not a simple one, probably. Um, because it has, sorry, because it has many, many steps involved. You have to wait for, you have to cook the thing, you have to wait for the person that is speaking the the food you have to deliver and then you have to pay, maybe this person has to pay or it's prepaid and then there's more steps than on the, on the user. Okay, so just receiving the order. But yeah, to, to receive the order you don't have to do anything. No, you, you are there and at a certain point the order pop-ups and you're done if it's just receiving. so. No? It's, it's not, not even a, a, a task because you, you're there waiting for. So if it's after that came, that start from receiving, like preparing the food, that could be.
look for discount to find a cheap place to order from. Yes, still between moderate and complex, because, you know, it's not something, so the simple task is the one that everybody does. So order the food is probably the simplest task that you have. As soon as you add a constraint, you move from simple to the moderate. But, so, the yeah, more constraint you add, probably more towards the moderate you are. So here, clearly, the main simple task is to order food. That is clearly the, the main goal of the application. No? This is the simplest task ever. That is the interesting point that we'll come back, keep in mind. Find a restaurant for specific, order a specific food type, or fi yes, find a restaurant to missing what, and then what happens next. So yes, order uh, food for specific food type. Anybody else, otherwise I will continue with him. Yeah, order food from the fastest restaurant. Yes, these are still, yes, going toward more complexity, clearly. That is an interesting point, what you said. Can you repeat again? So what he's saying is that uh, ordering a, a food for the cheapest place around, let's say, yes, the cheapest place with a voucher, whatever, the cheapest place, also the cheapest, the one that has discount in that moment, the, the appens, not to have, or you have one euro for delivery instead of the three euro, we'd, we'd, we'd avoid the limit of, so this is discount in some way. Um, and say, this could be, the question is, this could be a simple task since it happened frequently, but you say before, since a lot of students do this frequently, right? Um, so, that's a, actually a good point, because in general, we could probably say that it's not the simplest task for Glovo in general, but if you are, want to target students, and you learned from students that this is something that they do frequently, then yes, this becomes a simple task for your specific population that are students. So clearly all of these depends on the context. So if we think about the general population, maybe, maybe not, we, we cannot really, I can, I don't know, we cannot really know if the cheapest place are the first things that people are looking or maybe they are looking before the closest. Because it also makes sense that the closest, the frequent task because you want food hot at home. And so you prefer the closer, a uh, bit expensive or the cheapest a little bit far away. That's, um, so maybe in general, one of the other option is good. But if you focus on students, then the complexity of task can change. And if you focus on, 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 on students, maybe also the restaurant side becomes a very, very complex task because you're focusing on students. Hmm? And so the old, maybe also the, all the fancy plays would be out of not important for your specific task because you want to do the, the global for students, let's say, no? So let's imagine that. Um, but yeah, that's a good point, actually. So keeping in mind who are your user. So if you, again, task doesn't appear out of the thin air, this is just an exercise, thinking of two applications that probably um, many, if not all of you used in one way or the other, so one, one or the other application. But clearly, if this task came out for your project and they came out from the interviews, then you can classify a task like simple because maybe many people uh, mentioned that or you observed that from many people. Mm? So it's more related to your specific context, your specific population. Here we kept things a little bit more general uh, because we, uh, we, we didn't have a specific population, but yes, this is a great point actually. Mm? So keep in mind, who are your users, especially if you are designing something from scratch. Or also if you are redesigning or want to reach other population. Maybe you can start thinking about the general population and say, okay, let's focus on students. Oh, let's focus on the elderly. That maybe have needs 
And here we have got maybe they have needs that are totally different from the one of student in food delivery. And it's also their task. The task that the system application should support are different because the students will have the cheapest place and maybe the elderly will have the, the I don't know, the more traditional food or food that is delivered at home, directly on the floor or at the home and not on the ground, on the ground floor. Maybe have other requirements. Maybe also cheapest is one category, but um, maybe not. Hmm? So clearly could also depends on, but still all of these can be tasked. Hmm? Then we can say, okay, this is more simple, this is moderate, this is more complex, but still they are tasks. Hmm? Good, any other things that you want to share? Okay, so. Another exercise, 15 minutes, and then we will wrap up. Pick one of the good tasks discussed so far. That could be the Uber task, could be the one that you created, and try to use the hierarchical task analysis to decompose it in steps and plans. And you can draw it on paper, draw it on a tablet, or you can use draw.io, that is an online service, to create the diagram. And then we will try to see a few of them before the end of the class. Maybe a couple, we will have time. So try to pick one of the good tasks that we have, either in the slides that you came up with, and try to decompose it in steps. What you need to do now to accomplish this task with Globo, just see it, Uber, if you have to Uber, otherwise imagine how it works, but try to cover the full amount of uh, steps and plans that you, you need to do. Hmm? Other 10, 15 minutes to get started with this. So one good question that I received, and it's, I think that it's, it's, it's fine to tell it, to answer to this publicly. Um, pay attention. Uh, so how many steps we should which kind of steps we should include in the application, in the, in the process. So we are using an application. Should we include the login? Should we include open the app? Should we include all of these or not? If your task is order or look for or whatever it is. So the answer is typically no, you don't have to. So assume that your user is already logged in and the application could be open. So if the task is order, start from the, let's say, home page and end of the process of ordering. And the example that I made before was think about the cleaning the house or the make tea. In those tasks, you started with the water already in the house, the energy bill paid, you in the house, you didn't have, oh, open the door of the house and come in and pay the rent or, so all of these is still is similar in a way to log in, create the user, uh, the account, etc. You want to focus on the goal, on the task at hand. So the task is ordering, start from the, the home page of the app, you are logged in, you have a user, you have money, you have all is needed to order or look for, etc. okay? Don't add, you have some requirements, you should have some requirements. Also for cleaning the house, it doesn't say buy uh, a vacuum cleaner. It clearly, you have to have the vacuum cleaner on, in, home, in the home, and it's working. Okay, so same things here. Just start from the key point of the task. And uh, I also say that we can, let's see the time, so some task analysis, some decomposition you did. Anybody wants to tell at least the first level or share if it's not made on paper? What you did, you didn't complete clearly everything? In five in ten minutes, but no, nobody. Should I call people to speak? We probably have time for one slash two, not more on this. So. Yes, good. 
One more point. Please. Mm -hmm. It's also a sort of subtask, right? Because the task is ordering the food with a discount. So apply the is just a, a portion of that, okay? Okay, so the task is actually ordering with the discount. And you have a discount you want to order. That is the task, okay? So select the restaurant. Select the food they want to order. Okay. Okay. And this is a step, or proceeding to the order is a step, or is a plan? Is a step. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is going back to the previous level, right? Because you're okay, out of the subtask for payment, back to the ordering process, okay? And then eventually you will eat. Okay. Yes, probably yes. So pay and then the details of the payment and then go back to whatever it is. Uh, I don't know. I, I sh uh, we should probably see that visually, because now it's, it's all by memory. Also maybe the discount should be in the process of payment and not after, I don't know, maybe. It depends where, where it is also in the application, clearly. But, but that, that, that it could be, that could be also, you know, one thing to use the task analysis for. So I noticed that I have some doubts on where the discount code should be, should be in the process, so payments should be after, so that it could be one possibility to improve the process the, of, of this application. We, we don't want to, but that would be one, okay, where the discount should go? Also all the, all the things that you say, if you have enough, ma if it's eligible, not eligible, it's something that you have to learn, it's something that the application tell you, it's some mix, it's you try and then, if it's a mistake, you, you revert back. Yeah, there is the code. You can apply the discount if you're over 10 euros. And you have to know it. Yes. Because if you apply, it doesn't happen. No, Who knows? If you apply, it's what happens if you apply? That is, that is a part of a, of a subtask. Apply the discount. And if it's, yeah, but you, you don't know, I mean. But this, if you ever want to describe how the task work for, let's say, this application, whatever it is, you probably should spell out which are the steps, specifically steps. So if apply the discount and it's valid and it's covering the, the expenses, then I will do the steps or maybe nothing because it's over. If the discount is then not eligible, what happens? It will be automatically removed. I will remove it. I need to remove it, otherwise I will lose it even if I don't, if it cannot be applied. So what are the process there? Which are the sub-steps there about this? We don't know, 
this moment, but it's something to, if you want to describe completely a task decomposition, you should also have this, this idea in mind. And again, if it's something unclear, it's clearly one point in which a redesign of that part, if you were redesigning clearly this, this application, would be a good point to start because you notice something that is not working well, okay? Okay, any other questions about this or any other volunteer that wants to start in five minutes or less? Yes. You send me to te on Telegram? In the group or to me? In the group or to me? I don't, I don't know. What, it's, it's the same. Where do you send it? You didn't. Reach out to the driver to get a forgotten object. Uh, select the ride you lost the object to. Open the menu, go to the ride list. Signal you lost, yes. And, and then go to the, after the list. You don't have to pick a, a single ride. Yeah, pick it. Uh, so open the menu, there is the list and signal and there is missing a step, no? So it's open the ride, probably, and then signal you lost, click on the lost object button, fill the information, also about the ride, they ask you information about the ride, if you selected the ride already. Ah, it would happen during. And write what is the object you lost, maybe there is also another step that is write the other information about the ride, And then what happened next? I feel the information I've write, and yes, maybe you didn't uh, have time too, but there is also the, the rest of the story, no? What, okay, I fill this out and I need to submit, I need to, to wait for an answer, I need to, what's the, the other steps? Hmm? To, to reach out to the driver, hmm? clearly not to go, to go after. Hmm? Okay, but starting point with these details in the middle. Okay, so we can stop here for today and we will meet again on Friday with me in the second slot only. Have a good lunch. <laughs>